Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Blitzkrieg. This is one of the games that has probably single-handedly changed my experience in RTS games, as this was one of the first games that taught me all about World War II, and the vehicles, and the factions, and the battles, and the campaigns. This here is a fantastic game. Even though it's a little old from more than 10 years ago, it sure shows that, uh, well, that uh, RTS games can be sure, uh, surely huge and long remembered when it comes to terms of impact and uh, look, look at look at the little details of anti-tank uh, uh, pillars in the ground and troops in the trenches and uh, pillboxes filled up. We're playing as the Soviet Union here during the Battle of Kursk and I have it paused currently. The Germans are poised to strike on our lines and it's up to us to stop them. As you can see, there's many different vehicles from World War II that you may see in Men of War Assault Squad 2, including SU-76s and even cargo trucks. We have uh, KV-1Ss and plenty of AT guns. We even have T-34s and T-34-85s will eventually show up, uh, SU-85s as well, AA guns. And this game actually employs a lot of things that, in, uh, that are featured in current day RTSs, including what you see in Men of War Assault Squad with frontal armor and different types of penetration values. For instance, here you have front armor, side, rear, etc. And then the damage and uh, penetration at range. This is something that we look for on a day-to-day -day basis in Men of War Assault Squad. And when it comes to massive campaigns, this is what I hope uh, in, it really encouraged people like Sir Henkels to play games like these in order to come up with the fantastic campaigns that they want that they have now made actually back in the past i hope they remember games like this but anyway without further ado and without me just I, i'm like in awe because of you know being brought back to the past and finally being able to share this with you guys let's get started the germans again will be attacking from all fronts we have minefields uh, tank traps and at guns helping us so hopefully we can hold against all of their waves let us begin the briefing starts as such uh Let's see, the enemy will be throwing almost everything he's got at you. You'll probably have to repel several waves of frontal and flank assaults before you're able to counterattack. Watch your flanks and attacks from a combination of infantry and tank assaults. The first wave should be relatively light as they search for weak points. The battle begins, and as you can see, just like in Company of Heroes, the music kicks on just as the battle begins, and uh, enemy aviation is sighted. We're going to call out our own uh, air support ground attack planes, and let's see... Actually, I think we can beat them there, but let's call them out over here on this side. There's bound to be tanks at some point. We can even reinforce our infantry uh, with, uh, let's see, some supply trucks such as these. And we'll have them reinforce uh, dead troops and uh, bring up more and more Soviets to fight them. We have almost an uncountable number of men and AT cannons everywhere. We even have mortars. I'm going to put everything in a, in a nice uh, entrenched position. We even have a, ah, a sniper, lady sniper here. She's going to move into position. We even have some heavy artillery that we can use. Let's take these two guns, fire them on the enemy here, and they'll turn and start engaging. And we'll take these guns and have them do the same to tear through that German armor and infantry. All right, we've got some heavier mortars here, 120 millimeter. We'll put them up over here. And this is really what taught me strategy, and this is kind of what made me a... a I guess the player I am today doesn't make me any good or any worse than anyone else, but it definitely taught me a lot. You can see the first line here has definitely collapsed, and uh, there's only an officer here which is needed for reinforcement. So if we can get some of these supply trucks over here, we can definitely help our comrades out. But first, we got to make these, uh, hopefully these troops get into the trenches without being killed by an enemy uh, armor tank. Uh, PZ-4, Panzer IV G, breaking through. As you can see, a shell hit and some of them got killed. Our, a our AA guns will eventually start turning on that, uh, as you can see, that uh, plane there is about to take some damage. Uh, let's get these two trucks rocking on reinforcements. I could use the hotkeys, but uh, this is kind of the old style I used to do, it, and I like pushing that button. The enemy will be throwing almost everything he's got at you. Yep, we've completed that objective. The first wave is defeated. A lot of Panzer Gs destroyed. If the enemy tanks get close to these troops, by the way, they will start throwing AT grenades and start killing them. Stuk 3. It's best for our troops kind of to sit where they are and let the enemy uh, come at us. There's really not much we can do to counterattack with SU-76s, though we could try to get a flank in on them. Our AT guns aren't able to shoot that far yet. But let's see if we can get this 76 around the corner. Maybe we can flank the enemy that way. So we must, no matter what, hold the position where the artillery was coming through. And we'll try to keep reinforcements coming. 
Nice thing is, is uh, everything runs out of uh, ammunition at some point, but if we uh, continue to have the resupply come in, each one of these trucks will work to resupply these artillery cannons, and doing so will make sure that they never run out of ammunition, and they even have a warehouse here that we can capture somewhere around here uh, to make sure that supply continues to come in. All right, we have a group of T-70 tanks that we can use for counterattacks. And uh, we're not going to use them just yet. Artillery is still falling. It looks like the enemy's countering with their own artillery now as they've spotted some positions. And it looks like this Su-76 has actually done a good job there. Let's get up on that front line and reinforce some of these uh, destroyed guns. Stuk is getting up there. Oh, we hit him in the side. Oh, yes, he fell right into that artillery. Or right into the AT. Beautiful. Looks like the second wave is coming. So we'll have to hold for that. We can put our uh, guns into a defensive embankment. What do they call it? They call it entrenching, I believe. Yes, an entrench. Uh, entrench position for both tanks, AT guns, AA, pretty much anything. And uh, we'll put our lady sniper here and here. We can even turn our uh, weapons. Looks like they're coming from a new position. We'll go ahead and use our artillery. What we'll do this time now is we'll have all of our artillery guns down on them. And uh, we'll push, uh, kind of like in a uh, war game, We'll uh, assign our artillery to a number, and again, this is what taught me basic tactics like this. It just the, you know, it didn't make me good. It just taught me about how this uh, war games are going to be, buddy. Better get used to it. And uh, I used to play this game with auto save on all the time. So if I'd lose a super cool tank like the Tiger, I'd always just reload because it took so long to get to the Tiger. I would just keep replaying until the battle kind of went my way, and that taught me trial and error, which is something that uh, is very important in in, uh, in games like uh, Metal War Assault Squad. If you're playing alone in that campaign. That can be a real beast. Since this T-34 is on the road, it's hard to dig up uh, solid ground, so it's putting sandbags around it, uh, and it's now in a hold-down position. You can see the artillery just slamming into the enemy now, and it looks like they're bringing up Stukas. Uh-oh. We're going to call up our own uh, aircraft then to fight them. We definitely don't want them hitting these. Uh, these are one of the most important trucks, not the supply trucks, but infantry reinforcement trucks, especially for the Soviets. As you can see, each time they die, they send out a couple of more men. To hold the position. They're getting low on ammunition there as well. Enemy bomber's been destroyed. They classify that as a bomber. Dive bomber, of course. It looks like they're blowing up pretty damn good. Oh, yeah. All right, we have a Panther tank and three Gs. Oh, geez. We're going to have a ton of trouble coming towards us. Let's try to flank that position that they're attacking from. And uh, looks like that left position, or the right position, is okay with artillery. We're going to go ahead and focus on the left position now and see if we can slow them down. Looks like there's a uh, Panther tank here as well. Let's go ahead and throw everything we got against those tanks. We'll put them to, into an attack move position. It's better for us to sacrifice the tanks now outside of our lines than all those AT guns. We'll have to counterattack at some point, but believe me, we'll have plenty of vehicles to do so with. Oh, look at that, the T-70s were able to flank. And we're actually able to kill a Panther, and they tracked one at this moment as well. Infantry just chewing the uh, Panther up. A couple of T-70s lost there, but uh, no big deal compared to the German losses. Let's go up and clean up this infantry a little bit. Kill off the officers, make sure uh, no survivors. We could actually bring this T-70 ahead for a scout. Time to turn our artillery guns now. And uh, turn them back to this side. Panther tanks are big bitch. They're definitely uh, mean killers. Oh, looks like this, uh, yep, that G is down. Smoke coming out of the turret there. Beautiful. All right, let's try to plug some more holes. Again, we're getting pushed back, and we'll not, uh, we're in a defensive position, so all we can do is hold to our best of our ability. Second attack wave is down. I'm gonna put some Su-76s in some different uh, defensive positions. And one thing that's important now is to fill holes uh, in terms of uh, it, wherever troops have died or wherever it seems the enemy is going to more likely be uh, likely to attack from, that's what we want to do. The uh, likelihood of them attacking from pretty much anywhere is... Oh, it looks like we got some reinforcement. Ah, yes, very good. So it looks like those units we just lost have been replaced. And we'll get these units to turn down uh, here face towards what seems to be the south, uh, southeast. You'll be seeing a lot more heavy tanks and self-propelled cannons this time. Make sure you, your AT artillery is manned, and don't forget about counter-artillery with your heavy guns to the rear. All right, let's dig in. It looks like this guy's a little picky about digging in. 
By the way, if this uh, video is not in 1080p or whatever the size may be, it's just due to the fact that it's an older game. I tried to figure it out, but I just couldn't. Uh, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't negate from the uh, awesomeness of this game. A tiger tank spotted, everyone. Look at that. It's taking a real beating from those AT guns up on the ridge. It went down very quick. We we're lucky to have that. Put our AT gun here. Looks like our... Uh, T-34s are coming through. By the way, they will move slower across farm fields, and so will infantry when they're uh, when they're moving. That will slow them down. So it's a real war game kind of situation where you have to make sure you're calling your troops out from good positions, such as roads. You want to call them out from uh, from position to position using traffic, and that sounds a little confusing. But basically, what it means is you need to path your units onto main roads and avoid obstacles and uh, think of mud as basically a hindrance unless you're going for a flank. We're going to keep these vehicles in position for just a second and uh, let the enemy come up to us. We're going to try to call out some aircrafts as soon as possible. I want to start saving the numbers of tanks we have. Looks like our, helico or our helicopters, our, our aircraft are now ready. And we've got some more guns to man, it seems. Looks like our supply lines are going good. We're going to move up some AT guns. It's going to take them a while to move. Oh, ground attack aircraft have been destroyed. German Messerschmitts are up. Bastards. Hopefully we can shoot them down. They might be a little high for these smaller guns. These 57 millimeters are really for bombers. Alright, let's get back up on that line. Filling in holes here. Taking a beating, though. Uh, it is a... Uh, kind of anticipated as the enemy continues its third and fourth attack. There'll be plenty of attacks, trust me. Right, we're going to have this uh, KV-1 come up here and kick his ass. He's chewing through our troops and we don't need him to do that. All those troops, by the way, laying down in the trench as the tank passes by. Now, if you put it in some sort of auto attack, the uh, computer itself will stop, will move, stop, and fire until it gets to basically point blank range. I think the uh, Stug here is going to have a winning battle. Yes, it did. And this is the uh, the uh, Os F, so it's uh, definitely a capable killer. We'll send all of our tanks down now. Let's see if we can drown them in numbers. Now we don't have any high altitude anti aircraft weapons, so the uh, Germans own the sky for the moment. Oh, T-34 being real dumb and turning it side. I think the AI was also copy and pasted from this game too, to war game. All right, 85 millimeters up on the line. Let's see if we can get him. Uh, he doesn't want to dig in here. One of the most important things you can do in the game is entrench, but they're very picky about entrenching. There we go. All right, so hopefully we can hold for the next few attacks. We'll keep these uh, extra tanks in reserve. And there were some absolutely astounding mods made for this game as well as in Men of War Assault Squad. It really encompasses the entirety of the game where it's, uh, you know, they, they added more units such as more Stugs and that kind of thing, more missions, more specialty infantry, and that's exactly what they did in this game. Uh, very early modders that I saw there were you know battle for Stalingrad campaigns where they were like 10 missions and you would have to throw you know eight squads up a road and basically have them sacrifice to take a take a building no there were there were no tanks there was no mortars it was just good luck and that's the way it was and that's that always stayed with me that might be part of the reason why sometimes I just you know push troops into battle and stuff and see what happens because it reminds me of games like this we're still pounding away, by the way, at their other artillery positions. And by the way, that kind of coverage like that with artillery, that's exactly what you want. That's the only way you're going to kill enemy artillery. Now, eventually, I know we're going to have to counterattack at this village, and I usually like to fire at this church here. So we're going to start firing at that. And artillery in this game has crazy range. Oh, looks like a tiger tank ventured a little too far. Some of our AT guns are ready to go. We've got an infantry squad ready to sneak up on them here. Let's go get them. 
We have an AT rifle with that squad as well. Tiger tank sees us. SU-76 uh, is going to have to engage soon. Nashorn there got us. Air support's now available. Well, no need to uh, worry about these heavy tanks when you got some big ass bombers. PE-2 bombers are on the way and enemy aircraft have also been called out to uh, shoot us down, I think. No, they're called out a recon plane. So now our bombers are coming out. Nashorn is down. Tiger taking some heavy hits from multiple AT guns. Fantastic. And it looks like the PE... Oh, hold on. Another bomb right on top of that Panther. She's done. Propel the fourth attack wave is done. There's just one or two tanks left. They pretty much let you get through most of them. Another bomb out. Oh, just deflected. Tiger tank, a real mean beast. Just deflecting shots like that. Look at those guns, just fire. Alright. That tank is finished off. Some more enemy troops will be advancing. You can rest assured that they'll be coming. We're going to fill the holes again and make sure this defensive line is as strong as it's always been. We have to fight like a lion. And we have to hold these positions so that way the enemy cannot push us out of the area. Of course, there's not one step back, which is exactly the name of this custom mission. And in fact, it was part of a demo that I had played. Enemy recon plane was shot down by our very own uh, bombers as well. That's always a satisfying kill when you use a bomber to shoot down enemy aircraft. Looks like there may have been uh, enemy supply trucks in this region as well. Preparing for another attack, more than likely. All right, so we've got uh, mortars we can call up. It's going to be uh, some of the last waves, and it's going to be desperate, and it's going to be the best of the best stuff that the Germans have to offer. It's going to be all elite, and it's going to be all uh, it's going to be the the worst of the worst and the best of the best. Worst for us, though. Best for the enemy. All right, we do have all of our vehicles up here ready to counterattack. They haven't even gotten past that SU-76. So let's attempt a flanking maneuver. Our bombers don't see anything just yet, so it gives us time to uh, lick our wounds a little bit. Enemy fifth attack wave. It looks like they may be running out of steam after this one. Hold to the last unit and get prepared for a counterattack. Okay. Oh, get ready for our counterattack. Yes. Absolutely. All right, our tanks are advancing. As you can see, the one on the road traveling a little bit faster than the one on the on the grass and the one on the field, obviously, the slowest of them all. So you can exact you can see exactly how formations you kind of have to micromanage things just like you do in Men of War Assault Squad. So you can definitely see how I got my start in RTS games back in 2003. And by the way, Blitzkrieg 3, I should have mentioned at the top of the video, is coming out as well, and it will be nothing like this. It will be, um, it'll be more like Company of Heroes, more like World of Ta It's hard to say exactly. They have something very interesting planned for that game, and I don't even know how to explain it properly. But uh, enemy tanks will be arriving very soon, so if we're going to hit them, we got to hit them now. We're going to drive through on artillery. Damn the consequences. Enemy units have already arrived. They must have came from the flanks. So now, the, now when the enemy's uh, busy with their attack, we're going to be attacking down here. We completely got around their forces. Hopefully no uh, artillery. Uh, look, you can see the church was taken down. There's an enemy 20mm. Uh, Decrewed immediately. Reinforcements have arrived as well. This is, re this is all uh, ready for our counterattack. Look at that. We've got SU-152s. All right, let's clear out the area. It's really the enemy command uh, village. We've definitely gone ahead of the main forces and uh, finished off anything that's down here. Bad weather forecast. That means we can't call out any aircraft for a while, so we're gonna have to re uh, we're gonna have to hold out on our own ground forces. Let's take this SU-85 up here and see if there's anything heavy waiting for us. Now we can be a little bit of a cheating bastard because I know. After this next attack, the enemy will just get stuff spawned down here, and you can basically park on the roads and ambush them as they're coming in, which is not fair. Enemy uh, artillery there. We can go ahead and get real close and cause damage to them. Let's see if we can decrew them. Wow, no damage whatsoever. There we go. They're going to try to fire on our positions. There we go. And I hear enemy tanks approaching. Yup. Yeah. 
We pissed off uh, one of the Panzer G's. That's uh, exactly how we wanted to show our armor too, by the way, in uh, Men of War. Looks like the enemy brought out recon, so we're gonna bring out ground attack planes. And it looks like they may have uh, called out some other units to the village. Looks like one of our tanks was destroyed from behind. It looks like that might be where their uh, next wave is coming from. Repel the fifth wave is done. Repel all enemy attacks. It's now time for us to full attack. Hell, why not? Let's just go ahead and select everything and, it, and do whatever it takes to win. Destroy the enemy troops near the village. Let's go. There's uh, their defensive line. All we have to do is hammer that. Look at all their troops. Look at all that stuff. My god. We're going to win by numbers. Now, of course, if this was an actual game that I was trying to play seriously and in the campaign, you you definitely want to keep your units alive because their, their uh, longevity is extremely important in the overall campaign because the longer your units stay alive, the higher uh, rank they get and higher ranks get access to better vehicles. So it's best for you to keep your men alive because it carries over. We also have some Katusha rocket launchers here, some BM-31s. I guess they're not really Katusha's, but it doesn't matter. We're going to drive ahead then and uh, just let all of our forces go into battle so you can just kind of see how it works. And um, though we're going to take a lot of losses, I just want to I just want to show off the uh, bloodshed of exactly you know how to attack and how not to attack. Obviously, the best thing to do would be uh, avoid this uh, defensive line at all costs and just go around like to here and then just come up from behind them. But uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna hit them hard with numbers. 152 is ready to rock. Go ahead and have him start firing away. All right, our infantry is arriving. Okay, you, uh, the uh, BM-31s are ready. Actually, they, they have to stop before they can fire. There we are. See, targets too far. You basically, you literally have to be on top of the enemy in order to fire these weapons. So now it's uh, we, the tables have turned here. All right, let's fire these rockets. All right, the infantry should be able to break through here, no problem. There comes the rockets. Should be able to clear out those trenches, no problem. 152s are also a, a type of tank destroyer, though very makeshift. Wow, the Germans doing really good. We'll see how they do against all these numbers of uh, Russian infantry. That's about to surround them. We've also captured a supply uh, sector up here on top of the mountain, so we'll go ahead and make sure that's secure. Oh, looks like the Germans were setting up some Neffelwerfers. Aaron Nevels. Yeah. You better watch out and take your tortilla. Okay, anyway, you guys remember that joke, right? Carlos San Francisco. All right, look at all those AT grenades. That's how you surround a tank in this game. Losses are definitely worth taking. All right, we're going to go on full attack now and just run to this tank. That's how you take out a panther. Sniper's been killed, no big deal. All right, we're going to go in for the uh, next panther here. Oh, it looks like they want Oh, they want to play with more. Okay. Now this is more realistic as to how these uh, some of these attacks and battles would go. You know, once the tanks are out, it's all up to the infantry to just run and get close. And uh, we're finishing off the tank before the crew can even get... Uh, now they're bringing up Nash Horns to try to finish this off. This is basically like a Zerg rush at this point. Oh, it looks like they were trying to get some of the uh, Neville, Neville Warfers out of the way. We may have actually lost one of our... Uh, one of our Katyushas there. But let's go ahead and run up and destroy this uh, Panther here. And we'll crew these Nash horns, or these Neville Warfers, rather. Nash horns, Neville Warfers. And we'll try to fire them at those uh, two tanks there. So obviously, just like in War Game, or uh, in Men of War, well, actually, you can capture enemy equipment, like in both games. Looks like our uh, infantry here is out of AT rifles, down to just a little bit of health left. Let's see if we can uh, take them out with uh, some bombers or something. Actually, you know what? It's time for some paratroopers. Why not? For no reason at all. We're just going to call them in behind these enemy stugs because that's what Russians were good at. They uh, disabled the tracks of a tank and then called in uh, air support. Looks like these 152s must have hit them directly. And our whole line of Russians are ready to cross on through. Break on through to the other side. 152s are out of ammo. These uh, troops, by the way, can't just resupply. The, the enemy unit here is too close and we have to kill it before. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, 
see if uh, see if we can actually attack this enemy unit here. I don't think we can. Alright, let's try to call in some accurate artillery on it. Looks like we've destroyed the enemy's uh, defensive line. Mission accomplished. You've completed the last mission. You're now ready to take on the full force of Blitzkrieg, and that's it. So you can continue playing or you can stop, but I'm going to wrap it up here. So you guys, thank you so much for supporting this channel. You guys are absolutely fantastic. I couldn't ask for any, any better viewers, and uh, I'm really lucky to have you guys. So thank you so much for joining me time and time again, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Coming at you from 2003, keep your passwords and your pimp hands strong. I'll see you. Bye.